Hello, hello, hello to all of my Taurians. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Taurus. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. This reading is for the 10th of May through the 10th of June. If you have not had a chance to watch Sunday's video with the questions that's preparing you for this week, this uh, last quarter moon phase in um, Aquarius, please consider watching it. I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, not just your sun sign. So if your sun sign is Taurus, that's great. But if your moon sign is Taurus, I'm talking to you and other planetary placement is Taurus. I'm talking to you, including if Taurus is your MC or IC, I'm talking to you as well. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say in this midweek Wednesday. Let's see. All right, here we have the Page of Wands. We also have the Queen of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and also the Queen of Pentacles. Again, I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, right? Somebody's going to stop the overthinking about something. This is this is how you used to be. Like, these are the same people. So something has been, <clears throat> excuse me, heavy on somebody's mind and is self-sabotage to keep thinking about you know, the hurt, pain, somebody said or did something. Somebody says, you know what, I need to move on from that. I see somebody being very compassionate towards situations. Maybe you came in contact with some new information about something. I see you being compassionate, but I do see you moving on from it because it was starting to affect somebody, people seeing you on your throne. Like it was starting to affect your reputation, you know, to keep talking or thinking about something and people are looking at you some kind of way. When really people see you as an asset to their lives. So whoever who may have hurt you with their words or their actions, Taurus, Source is saying to you, <clears throat> don't give them the power of thought. Like it's like you're breathing life into something that is already, you know, part of your past. Somebody's going to feel rejuvenated. You're going to feel victorious. Like, wow, you know what? I worked really, really hard on myself. I invested a lot in myself and you're going to start seeing it in your money. So kudos and congratulations to you for moving on, for moving on from pain, whatever. Like I said, this number eight right here, this number eight, the top window for the number eight is for your spiritual vision. Like, how do you see your life? Like, well, how do you envision your life? You know, if there was, if there was just, you know, if, if you had not when your heart chakra was being developed, right? How did you see your life? Like when you said, okay, when I was a child, when I grew up, I want, I see myself, I see myself, you know how kids say, I, when I grow up, I want to be a fireman or I want to be a policeman or I want to be a singer or whatever. Like while your chakras were being developed, source is saying, don't lose your vision because it's going to make you an infinite amount of resources, resources, not just money resources, but the type of people you want around you. So don't let certain situations hold you back, the overthinking about it. So I'm seeing victory. I see somebody finally said, I, I, you know what? I have compassion for the situation. It could be something else that's going on. I don't know what it is, but you know what? I need to move on from this. There's no way I'm letting somebody hold up my money, hold up my money, hold up my my, you know, mess up my reputation by giving so much air to something that was, I couldn't see anything else. So congratulations to you all for moving on from something. Here we go. Let's see. All right. Here we have the five of swords. We also have the eight of swords. Again, we have the six of swords. We have the six of cups, the emperor card, and also the magician card. <clears throat> Emperor card and the magician card. So clear messages are coming through for somebody about an Aries. Could be an Aries. But remember, the magician card is also attached to Mercury. Mercury is currently retrograde. Mercury, um, Mercury is the communication planet. It's also the um the messenger planet. It also um it affects travel and it also affects I mean it affects uh um technology. It's also the planet of knowledge and learning. So what lessons are you learning about yourself? Like it could have been two situations in particular where source is saying to you, maybe an energy um, kept you fired up for the wrong reason. Well, it just kept you seeing red. You couldn't even move beyond something. And source is saying to you, take the blindfolds off. What vision did you have for your life? Like what, where are you putting your energy? So source is saying to you, get more authoritative, like, um, get more structured when it comes, like put a fire up under you. Even if somebody was keeping you fired up by bullying you, causing you to have low chest, chest posture, use, you know, recognize when bridges are being burned and 
like use that fire to inspire you to move on from something. And that's what somebody is doing, moving on from something. See how this person is on the boat? See, on some cards, the person has an ancestor on the boat with them, like helping them kind of move on from the depth of emotion about something, right? Because it's like somebody was sailing from out in the middle of the sea, moving on to dry land, like getting rooted and grounded, getting rooted and grounded. But every time, it's two situations in particular. Every time you look back at those two situations, somebody was angry all over again. It's like you're, um, <clears throat> somebody noticed that, this thought, this is air, thinking, sword energy is thinking. That air to your soil was making your soil too dry to produce any fruit. Like if you plant seeds and it's not, the soil, the soil isn't fertile, you're not watering it with your emotions, your creativity, your joy. You know how like people talk to houseplants, it's like, oh, you know, I see growth or whatever, however you talk to your houseplants, right? I see somebody moving forward in childlike faith. Again, compassion towards a situation. That's where you're, that's where the queen of cups is like, okay, queen of compassion. I got queen over my emotions. You know, I'm, I'm not letting something rob me of my joy or peace or happiness. I'm sailing away from it. I'm moving on. I'm moving on from something in the past and see how this right here is a part of the past. Like people have already moved on with their lives and somebody could have been still kind of stuck feeling like, okay, I don't see any growth in my life. I don't see my money moving. I don't see, you know, things happening. And so here we have the Empress card. We have the five of coins, the Hermit card, the four of wands, the two of wands, and also the nine of coins. All right now, the coins. <laughs> All right. So this, this is a somebody right here, emotionally wounded, right? feeling left out of something, feeling like things weren't happening fast enough. But guess what? As soon as you decided, hey, hold on, let me sit down for a minute and catch these messages. Because remember, planets don't move backwards. They don't move, they don't move slow and they don't move backwards, right? People assume retrograde means that a planet is moving backwards. Planets don't move backwards and they don't move slower. But it gives you an opportunity to slow down and catch the message like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on now. Let me find out what's slowing up my money here. Let me find out what's slowing up my relationships. And sometimes, you know, I ain't trying to start nothing. But listen, sometimes it be the parents that's messing up their kids' marriages. I mean, again, you know, don't, don't. You know, sometimes parents be messing up their kids' marriages because, you know, somebody don't like somebody and they constantly keep a mess started. If, if a parent doesn't like your choice, all of a sudden they not, they're going to ride you like sea biscuit until you get a divorce. Right. So, or they're going to keep up with something until they don't like your friends. They're going to keep on doing something that's going to you until they're out of your life. Remember, this is your life. That's what somebody is learning. That's what somebody is learning. Here we have the hermit card. So somebody is really in their hermit mode really learning that you are still whole and complete without someone else's approval, without all of their, you know, extraness in it, right? Here we have the Empress card. So somebody could definitely be um, cutting an umbilical cord, kind of detaching from something and just recognizing really what the root of the problem is. Sometimes people don't want to admit, sometimes people really just don't want to admit who the issue is, like where it started. But remember, these chakras are developed in your younger ages, Right. Uh, your root chakra is developed between ages of zero and seven, your sacral chakra between eight and 14, your solar plexus chakra between 15 and 21. So who is around you during those times? I mean, of course you have your teachers, but who was around you between zero and seven, right? That root chakra. So if, so this is, this is, uh, while Pluto is retrograde, it's a lot of generational curses, cycles, and chains being broken. There's a lot of purging going on here for everybody. So a lot of people are awakening to their higher selves and being very happy. Here we have the four of wands. Somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. And somebody's like, you know what? I have the whole world in front of me. Let me go live my absolute best life. So somebody's definitely be traveling, meeting new people, you know, applying for new jobs, new opportunities coming your way. So congratulations to you all, Taurus, for, like I said, being able to slow down your mind so that you can catch the messages that God was trying to send to you the entire time. Um, yeah, could have been some painful decisions that were made. This card, this lover's card popped out in reverse. Lover's card popped out in reverse. Bottom line is, um, and we'll get to that in just a second. Um, lover's card is 
lover's card means several things. Lover's card upright is a decision has been made. Um, a partnership is coming your way, whether it's in love, twin flame, partnership and business also, you know, coming your way. But in reverse, it means it was something was dysfunctional, like something was really, really dysfunctional in relationships, right? Could have been in family relationships. Something was, like I said, before I even pulled this card out and it flipped out in reverse, I'm telling you, like for somebody, somebody's um, mother was responsible for... And again, please don't attack the messenger. I'm only telling y'all what I'm seeing here in the cards. But somebody's mother was responsible for just a lot of stuff. It was like their hurt was being transferred over to somebody. like, And uh, just being passed down. So your desire... You got to remember something, um, Taurus. Earth signs are rooted and grounded like earth sign that's you capricorn and virgo for you all to really connect to the earth your element you need stability in your life you need security in your life you need career success prosperity you need vitality you need loyalty you need patience in your life and if you had a parent that was um if their chakras are out of alignment because whatever happened in their lives and they they projected all of that into your soil, that's what grew. Like that's what we got used to. Somebody that's something somebody that's something somebody got used to growing in there. So it was two situations here. Two situations here, right? So somebody sources tying your past with your current. So when we're talking about love, when we're talking about this sword energy right here, we're talking about heart. Somebody's heart was just like, somebody couldn't see beyond something because again, something was just twisted from the very beginning. Something was twisted from the beginning, but it kept leaving somebody feeling like, you know, why am I left out of my vault? For some people, that vault represents marriage. Why, why is, you know, for some people, the vault represents money. For some people, the vault represents a lot of things. And so God kept sending messages across somebody's, God kept sending messages across through people who may have moved on from you like kept trying to send messages but like i said the lover's card in reverse represents dysfunction here we go the money king of pentacles that's his wealthiest card in the deck here we have the um see that's what i was talking about see this right here you see that um you see your heart right here focus but everything else in order for your heart to get like focus sources like your heart has to you, in order for you to see things truly, like get your heart chakra in alignment, the healing is going to be in your purpose. Finding out what is the reason you're here on earth. That's where the healing lies. And that's what somebody had to find out. But you had to move on from something that initially threw your heart chakra out of alignment. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing marriage for somebody. I'm seeing baby. If that's what somebody wanted, it could be a baby for you or grandchild or something like that. That's what I'm seeing for somebody. But somebody had to go through all kinds of hell just to get to, let's see this person right here, nine of wands. Somebody had to go through a lot of stuff, you know, to get through all of this, to get to this right here. This is the wealthiest card in the deck, to get to the wealthiest card in the deck. So somebody was definitely, in order for you to understand, <clears throat> everybody has their own purpose. You have your purpose, your parents have your purpose, their purpose. Your spouse, partner, whomever, they have their purpose here on earth. And um, you have your special set of gifts and talents that you got from God. For somebody to try to tell you, they may they may have, like, like some people may say when they grow up, I want to marry someone like my mom or marry someone like my dad. So this, it's not like you're in love with your mom or dad. I mean, we do have some situations that's different. Let's just say different. But... You could say, I want to marry somebody. So you're saying, I want to marry, like, I like certain things about my mom and dad. That's what I want in a partner or a significant other. We're talking about healthy relationships, right? But remember, your mom and your dad may be twin flames for each other. But even if you met somebody with the same zodiac sign as them, the birth chart would still be different. 
So that doesn't necessarily mean it's a perfect match. So even when you're online, Taurus, and you're saying, oh, this sign is compatible with that sign, people really take that for like law, like it's etched in stone without pulling a birth chart compatibility chart. They don't know anything about, okay, your sign and my sign, we go very well together. So yes, let's just make it work. And then you think something's odd and strange with you when you don't get what you thought you were because you looked at something on paper. So hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Um, but you're about to get exactly what you want. The wealth, the, the you know, the, the everything that you want. And here we have the Four of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Let me make sure we got everything. Um, yeah. So you're about to get a breakthrough because somebody, somebody just had to move on from something. Somebody had to move on. Like somebody had to detach from something in your life that was causing you to put your energy towards something that would have burned you instead of inspired you or motivated you to move forward with something, right? Here we have the four of cups. Even if, let's say, for instance, even if you have been, since the chariot card is out here, even if you were divorced or had kids with somebody and somebody as simple as bringing somebody's name up during dinner, you could have been divorced from them for 10, 15, 20 years and they still bringing up that's that that's them holding on to it. You trying to move forward towards and that's them still talking about it. Oh, they don't cook like this one cooks. Like what how did their name come up into it? Like or you know, they don't look like that one looks. They're still holding on to something. Something that they're holding on to. So source is saying to you, you don't have to ruminate over this. Like I said, have compassion over the two situations and move on. Move on with your life move on sources like move on with your life like who god thank you thank you thank you i'm moving on with my life all right let's see what the number card is and also the affirmation card and let's close it out number card affirmation card and let's close it out four i am stable i am stable you bring stability and rationality to any situation and by the way four is the earth number okay so you bring uh, stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. And let me just add this one piece since this came to me. Since we got baby and we got marriage up here. <clears throat> even if, even if that parent turned out to be right about such an, it's a way to deliver the message without making the person feel bullied, low self-esteem, or like you're not smart enough to make a decision about anything. Like there's a way to deliver messages to people that they're going to be, because you all are divine feminine sign. And so you don't need people to come at you like a blowtorch or people to manipulate you and make you feel so silly and so stupid about making your own decisions as an adult that you just feel like, okay, well, you know, I guess I'm not seeing something. So I'm, I'm going to just take their word for it. That's not your person. Like that's not, they are, you're married to the person, not them. Right. So anyway, that's what I'm seeing here in the cards. Um, let's get into, let's close this out. Let's close this out. Let's close this out. So like I said, somebody's, somebody putting some fire up under themselves to detach from something that could have really, really just kind of, like I said before, you know, ruined everything else. Here we have clarity. You're going to get more clarity. Um, these are affirmations for clarity, just in case you want to write them down or kind of, you know, screenshot this. I am clear on my purpose. I am here for a reason. See, we were talking about purpose. I am worthy. I am valuable. I own my truth. I am moving forward in the right direction. I know exactly what I need to do. I take action toward the things that matter. Just in case somebody wants to take a screenshot. This is the website if you want to get those. One of our soul tribes created these cards. Amazing. We have a lot of amazing energies that um, send things for me to share with you all. But anyway, that's what I have for you all, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, open up your vault. King of Pentacles is waiting. King of Pentacles is not just material wealth. It's also the types of energies that you know you deserve around you, like people who are going to take their time and be just as patient, as generous with you as you have been with other people, people who are not trying to bully you or rush you into things, people who are not trying to, you know, who are not um, impatient with you or all of that other stuff. So anyway, congratulations. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.